Hi, my name is Christine Grafe, and I teach 5th and 6th grade art in College Station, Texas. And I'd like to welcome you to Session 1, Strand 1 Deep Dive for Art, Building Resilience at the Individual Level Through Self-Awareness and Self-Management. Since the start of the pandemic, education has been forced to adapt to numerous changes and challenges, both in and out of the classroom. The move toward virtual and or hybrid learning environments has forced us to rethink our methods of delivering instruction and keeping our students engaged. This has brought on an incredible amount of stress for teachers and students alike and it has impacted our lives both inside and outside the classroom. As we reflect on the challenges we've faced, we're forced to think about the ways our resilience has been impacted. For example, what were the most challenging aspects of this experience and how did it affect our wellness on both a personal and a professional level? How did this experience affect our ability to make connections and build relationships with our students and colleagues? And how did access to technology and materials impact the ability of students to be successful and engaged in our lessons? How did it affect their ability to find meaning and connection to those lessons? The fine arts offer us a unique perspective on student engagement, and we know they can be a catalyst for change and growth. We all know the importance of the arts in developing well-rounded students, but they can also be a tool for developing healthy self-awareness and self-management skills. How can the process of creating art be used to develop social and emotional growth in our students? Some things to consider are, how do we develop experiences that both engage our student learners and challenge their abilities in order to promote growth? How do we develop experiences that build self-awareness by allowing students to express themselves creatively through the art making process? How do we develop experiences that connect learning to students' individual situations and experiences. These are all great. All of these considerations are important factors in building self-awareness and self-management for ourselves and for our students. Who knew a year and a half ago how the pandemic would profoundly impact education and the world around us? And yet, whether through profound clairvoyance or sheer dumb luck, I feel we've been addressing these issues in the arts for many years now. Education is constantly evolving to better meet the needs of our learners. And while there have been numerous roadblocks faced along the way, we've had the opportunity to find creative workarounds to keep our students on the road to success. The late Sir Ken Robinson summed it up nicely when he stated that education needs to address the world around our learners, but also the world within our learners. Today I would like to introduce you to an art activity called Neurographics, or the Art of Positive Change. This is an engaging art activity that can not only build self-awareness and self-management, but that can also help us deal with stress in a physical and a psychological manner. I first saw online examples of neurographic art a few months ago, and while I was intrigued by the images, I didn't really know what they were all about. Upon further inspection, I realized that this relatively new art form would serve as a perfect activity for not only reducing stress and anxiety, but for building resilience in ourselves and in our students. When I tried the activity for myself, I was amazed at the transformative power of this technique, and I'm really excited to share it with you today. So what is neurographic art? 
Well, neurographica is a psychological method created by Russian psychologist Pavel Piskarev in 2014 as an art-making technique which can help reduce stress in an individual. It uses the process of neurographic algorithms to actively engage neurons in the brain, thus helping us to stimulate a calming response to stress triggers in our everyday lives. It is a way to capture how the inner being reacts to the outer world, and it has proved to be a useful tool for working through problematic situations and or feelings that we may be experiencing. According to the Neurographica Facebook page, Neurographica is the art of positive change based on neuroresearch, bionics, gestalt therapy, neurolinguistic programming, analytical coaching, and more. Through this unique art method, the dormant neuroconnections get activated and energy starts to flow through them, changing the way we think and act. It allows us to process negative emotions, anger, fear, and insecurity, transforming them into self-love, self-worth, improving relationships, setting intentions, and much, much more. It also allows us to model our future, our vision, and our goals. In this next segment, I'd like to share with you a YouTube tutorial on neurographic art created by Bethany Teal, art teacher from Brambleton Middle School in Ashburn, Virginia. Bethany does an excellent job of not only demonstrating the process behind this art form, but also exp explaining the concepts and ideas behind that process. In order to complete this art activity, you will need drawing or watercolor paper, depending on your chosen color medium. You'll need a pencil. You'll need a black permanent marker. You'll need some kind of color medium, such as color pencils, markers, watercolor paint, whatever you're most comfortable with, and an open mind. I really hope you'll enjoy this activity.